Hi everyone, welcome back to C programming tutorial series. In today's video, we are going to discuss about writing a C program to find the smallest digit of a number. So before coming to today's topic, I just want to tell you guys that if you guys like this video, click on like button, share it with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any questions, then let me know in the comment section. Now let us start our discussion. So here I have already written down the output of this program and with the help of this output we will just try to understand what output we need to get from this program. So here you can see when the program gets executed it first asks user to enter the number. Then user will enter a number let us say 1, 2, 3, 4. Then our program needs to find the smallest digit from this number and that smallest digit needs to be printed out here. Smallest digit is 1. Okay, so to write this program, first we need to find out how many variables are required. Okay, since we are asking user to enter a number, so there has to be a variable in our program which will store this value. So we need to create an integer variable, let us say num. Okay, now how we can find the smallest digit from this number? So what we can do is, we need to perform a task and the task is first we need to find out the reminder of this number so to get the reminder i will use the modulus operator okay then i will get four as the reminder okay and before doing this first i need to assume a small value as nine okay we'll consider that the smallest value is or the smallest digit is 9 then i will check whether this digit 4 is less than 9 okay since 4 is less than this small value so what i will do i will make small equals to 4 okay now our small value gets changed earlier it was 9 that's what we had assumed after doing this task we have got some other value for this small now 4 is our small value next i will divide 1 2 3 4 by 10 and i will get 1 2 3 okay then i need to do the same task of finding out the reminder and then checking to this number 1 2 3 okay so how long we need to do this task until this value or the number is greater than 0 okay while num this is our num right while num is greater than 0 we need to find out the reminder then we will be getting the reminder value we need to then we need to check that value with the assumed value of small if it is small then we will be getting the new small value and then we need to reduce this number one two three four two one two three uh, and uh, we will be getting an another value which is one two three and we need to do the same thing for one two three also okay uh, so let, let us suppose this is the first iteration and then second iteration is okay now our num value gets changed now it is 1, 2, 3. Now while 1, 2, 3 is greater than 0. Yes, condition becomes true. That's why control will come inside the while loop and we will be doing 1, 2, 3 mod 10 and we will get 3 as the reminder. Then we will check if 3 is less than small. Now our small value is 4. Yes, 3 is less than 4. That's why small gets changed. Now small will become 3. Okay. next we will reduce the value 123 by 10 and we will get 12 okay next we'll do the same thing in the third iteration we have 1 2 value of num while 1 2 is greater than 0 then we'll be finding out the reminder 12 mod 10 and we'll get 2 as the reminder then we'll check this value if 2 is less than small now in earlier iteration the small becomes 3 so 3 2 is less than 3 yes condition becomes true that's why now small value again gets changed to 2 
okay and now 12 by 10 if we do 12 by 10 then we will get 1 next in the fourth iteration while 1 is greater than 0 yes condition becomes true that's why uh, we will find out the remainder 12 sorry 1 1 mod 10 we will get 1 as the reminder then we will check if 1 is less than small and small is 2 yes 1 is less than 2 that's why now the small value again gets changed and now it becomes 1 then 1 by 10 and we will get 0.1 again next it will again go back to the while loop with this value of 0 0.1 while 0 0.1 is greater than 0 no okay so now this condition becomes false that's why control will not come inside the while loop and control will come outside the while loop to uh, print the smallest value which was this small equals to 1 okay so this is the logic behind finding the smallest digit from any number okay so now I will consider this logic to write the program okay now we need to declare the variables we want a variable num of type integer and we also want one more variable digit clear screen okay next we need to ask the user to enter the number then scan f percent d ampersand num okay next i need to do this task while num is okay first i need to assume the smallest value yes i need to declare one way one more variable small small is equals to nine next while num by 10 and while closed then print print f smallest digit is percent d comma small return 0 and then bracket close okay so this is how you can write a c program to find the smallest digit of a number so that's all for this video guys i hope you guys have understood if you guys like this video or if you guys have got some useful and valuable information from this video then click on like button share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any questions then let me know in the comment section thanks for watching